My name is uh, Sam Sandoval. I'm a faculty and an extension specialist at the University of California, Davis. And today we're going to be talking about science communication 101. So the basics of science communication. At last but not least is this kind of science facts and myth busters. Um, and basically this is an FYI. It's a forger information, but it has to be engaging. It has to be simple. And you have to provide references of, of why what you're saying is, is adequate. Um, there are different ways to start this. You can start by the objective of this communication is to provide or is to explain this and that. Or you can start immediately with an answer, with a question, sorry. And then once you have the questions, provide the answer immediately. So let me show you um, a couple of examples here. So this will be an example of um, a video that I have where I explain uh, Darcy's law. And in this case, basically what you're gonna see that I use is um, I use this um, a material here, which is, it is a groundwater model, a physical groundwater model. And I have in the background um, a, the state of California and some conceptual groundwater, um, uh, well, groundwater and aquifers in California. And then I use these two aids to actually provide what are the basics of Darcy's law. In this case, I'm using uh, some water with, that is being uh, dyed with uh, color, with color. And then uh, the people in here actually look how water is moving and so on. The main objective of this video is to show Darcy's law, to provide a specific uh, background of uh, Darcy's law. Uh, something that you're gonna also be able to see here is that as we're moving forward, I'm providing here some uh, basic concepts. In this case, in, in that case, it was the gradient. I was explaining what is uh, a gradient um, and so on. Also something that is really common on this one is that at the end, uh, you might be able to provide some summaries of a, uh, in this case, what are the key topics that you want to, to touch base in here? So that is basically what, what this will be about. The, uh, an alternative way for doing this is this um, uh, way of uh, doing it through uh, providing some questions in here. So basically in this case, what I'm asking is, is there an annual a volume that Mexico must deliver every year to the United States? And the answer is false. And as you can see here, I have already pre-cooked uh, some of the calculations and data. And again, I'm just using a, a visual aid, but it is the same. And this one should be between three to six minutes. And if you go longer than six minutes, then you're gonna lose your audience. Um, this has to be, again, so the engaging part in the previous one was with the physical model. In this case, it's with some of the visual aids. In this, it is, it is a, a whiteboard. Um, simple, it has to be in a way that uh, your grandmother can uh, understand it. But I, in this case, I left enough clues to actually uh, see how things are going. Also, you saw in that case that I was actually uh, changing my aids, my guidelines, my script. I was just kind of making sure that I knew what I was uh, talking. And it has to be referenced. At some point in this one, I'm actually providing the references of where you can verify what I'm saying. 